Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the sixth webinar in the series on the manifestation of the new civilization. Through these webinars, we look into build bridges between three countries, United Kingdom, United States, and Russia, that are indicated to be a triangle of countries through which the new civilization will be manifested. During the last three months, six groups, two groups from each of these countries came together to share the vision New civilization, what they do to manifest the civilization. Today, we have an honor and joy to be in the presence of the World Goodwill Group uh, with Dominic Dibble. And I uh, welcome Dominic. Hi, Dominic. Hello there. Thank you for joining us today. And Thank you. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for inviting me. Been open to to share with us today. Thank you. And uh, before um, inviting Dominic to share about the work of World Goodwill and the vision of the new civilization, I suggest we have a, a pause linking with all the people who joined our webinar today and uh, with even wider circle of world servers who work around the world in all the countries to manifest and usher the new civilization. So let's have a minute of silence visualizing the network of light and people come in into realization of own belonging to the inner unity of people of goodwill who work together to manifest plan on earth bringing the new era into the manifestation And as we focus back to our group center, let's connect with the heart of our virtual circle. And as we share and meditate today, keep this alignment throughout our meeting. Thank you. Dominic, please, the floor is yours. We are listening and meditating with you. And I will make you a presenter that you could share your screen. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I hope at this point everybody can hear me. Uh, let me just... Yes, we do hear you. Splendid. Okay. And, oh, something funny has happened to my PowerPoint presentation, as is usually the case. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Does that, that look like a, a nice <laughs> clear opening screen? Yes, we can see your 
screen Good. wide open and clear. Good, thank you. Well, um, as I said, it's a, it's a pleasure and it's an honor to be here and to be part of this initiative that um, the 2025 initiative are creating through ma uh, the manifesting the new civilization. And I dare say that a number of the people listening will know something about Walga Will. Um, but I'll just, I'll try and give you um, perhaps a broader picture. Um, and I'm going to start off, does that work? Here we go, there we go. Has my screen changed? Is that working? Yes, can you we can see another slide. Okay, excellent. Okay, great. Uh, one thing I'd, I'd like to say um, is that um, I'd like as much as possible to have um, interaction with people. I, d I don't want this to be just me talking um, because I think that would probably get a little bit tiresome after a while. Um, so if possible, I'm going to invite people to contribute. Although there'll, there'll be spaces for uh, reflection and contribution. And I hope that we can share some thoughts together about goodwill and service and the importance of goodwill and service, because that's the theme. Um, and that's what um, I think that World Goodwill is one of the things that World Goodwill has to offer in terms of thinking about how to manifest the new civilization. And um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to start by looking, reflecting a little bit about what World Goodwill is. Um, it's, it's described as a service activity of the Lucis Trust. Now, and as I say here, it can, it can also be considered perhaps more correctly as a service activity of the Arcane School. And uh, beneath, that, beneath what, that, what I've said there is a quote which I've adapted from Discipleship in the New Age, Volume 2, which gives some sense of um, the connections. So out of the <clears throat> apprehension of truth by many thousands in many lands and the need for it to be put to practical use, two modes of work were initiated the triangles and the goodwill work. The work of triangles, well goodwill and the arcane school is that of an organism and not an organization. And it will grow through its own inherent life and not through planning. The invocation work tied in with well goodwill, triangles and the school is moving steadily forward and is the responsibility of all three. If rightly handled, its distribution will be automatic, mechanical and momentous. <clears throat> now, as I say, that's adapted from Discipleship of the New Age, volume two. And I'm sure that all of us here are familiar with the challenges of group work and the some of the <clears throat> complicating subtle dimensions of group work and certainly it's true that triangles and goodwill are two sister activities and they are connected with the arcane school i'm just going to mute myself because i really have to clear my throat here i'm sorry uh, I don't want to make anyone deaf by clearing my throat too loud. So yes, uh, triangles and wild, and wild goodwill are the two kind of, two sides of a triangle that, that form with the arcane school. And we'll perhaps talk a little bit more about the connection between the school and wild goodwill a bit later. But wild goodwill is a service activity that's itself deeply concerned with the nature and the methods of service. So is therefore profoundly interested in the work of the new group of world servers. It just, you know, 
it makes sense that, that, that the new group of world servers, which as we know in the build up to the festival week, uh, there is a, an increasing focus on this very significant group within humanity. And World Goodwill is very strongly focused on how that group works, the ways that it works, and what types of work it's doing. And we'll, go, we'll discuss all those things as we go on. So, before we do that, though, I think I'd like us all to join in a meditation. This is a meditation that is focusing on the energy of goodwill. We'll probably do this for around 20 minutes or so. So before we begin, so let, let's all connect with one another and recall that we are sharing this effort of energizing goodwill with thousands, millions of other people around the world. And we know that we are essentially souls. In that sense, we have telepathic rapport with each other and with all souls. And, and we know that energy follows thought. So that meditation, the meditation we're about to do, and all, all the meditations that we work with are not passive, they're not reflective forms of devotion. They're positive creative uses of the mind. So we're li linking together the inner and the outer worlds, using our creative imagination to see ourselves at one with all humanity, with all that is progressive, that's spiritual, that's working for human welfare and right human relations. And in that knowledge, we can adopt a confident attitude knowing that we are acting, we are placing ourselves at the service of the, of the energy of goodwill, and we're going to channel that energy into human consciousness. So let us now <clears throat> link up in thought with all people around the world who are working with this goodwill meditation, the group of all meditators on the energy of goodwill. We reflect upon the fact of relationship in ever increasing, expanding circles. We are related to our families, to our communities. to our nations, we're related to the world of nations.
and we are related to the one humanity which is made up of all peoples and nations. Recognizing this fact of universal relationship, we're going to use the mantra of unification. The souls of all are one and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love that underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all people love. Now let's reflect upon our own and humanity's relationship with all the beings who dwell in the higher realms of mind and heart by, what, by, by whatever name we choose to give them, whether that's the spiritual hierarchy, whether it's the communion of saints, the rishis, the bodhisattvas, all those beings of higher wisdom and love who are honored by all the world's faiths and spiritual traditions. And now let us imagine ourselves standing together within the center of this group of wise and loving beings 
the mouth and the consciousness of the heart of love. Some refer to this heart of love as the Christ. Other faiths and traditions have other names for the one at the center, such as Maitreya, Imamadi, the Kalki avatar, and other names. Maintaining that high point of contact. Let your thoughts reach out to include all members of the human family in whom the energy of goodwill is active. We use the affirmation in the center of all love, I stand. From that center, I, the soul, will outward move. From that center, I, the one who serves, will work. May the love of the divine self be shed abroad. In my heart, through my group, and throughout the world. Visualize the energy of love 
flowing from the spiritual hierarchy through all the people of goodwill into the hearts and minds of all people everywhere, infusing them with the energy of goodwill, creating loving and harmonious human relationships. <clears throat> Meditate on ways of spreading goodwill, creating right human relationships, and restoring a true peace on earth. Realize that we are all helping to build a channel between the spiritual hierarchy and humanity through which goodwill may flow, uniting humanity, solving its problems and healing all differences and cleavages.
linked mind and heart with people of goodwill all over the world that say together the great invocation with deliberation, full commitment to its meaning. Knowing that in doing so, we are radiating its potent energies to humanity. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills. The purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power Restore the plan on earth. Thank you everyone for your participation, your energizing of goodwill. So now we come to the part where I hope that um, you'll feel free to participate and to join in in the discussion and the reflection. 
on a very simple question. And that question is, what is goodwill? As you can see, the slide I've got up now has got goodwill is, and it's just waiting for your reflections, your thoughts on what goodwill might be. So what I suggest we do is we, we now pause for a minute and if you have a favorite definition of goodwill or a favorite reflection on goodwill you'd like to share, we'll give you time to think about it. And if not, I have a few in my back pocket. So let's just think for a minute. What is goodwill? So, is there anyone who would like to share or to put something in the chat box or? If anyone uh, would like uh, to speak, please raise your hand and we will unmute you. And please join our voice circle. I can read, there is a couple comments in the chat. Uh, Karen uh, wrote, choosing to do what is the highest good of all. Beautiful. I, I, can I just ask a question? Um, just a procedural question. I can't actually see the chat. Um, I've got the chat box up, but it's not showing that comment. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, technical detail of this beautiful platform go to webinars that um, attendees can submit only questions and those are not visible for uh, panelists. So oh, I, really? you, I, I will make you an organizer and then you will see uh, okay. uh, the questions coming. So can you see the question section now on the control panel? Uh, yes, yes, I can. Okay, thanks. Yes, and now you can see them. Okay. So I can read a couple more. Do you mind uh, if I do it, Dominic? Yes, yes, please, please, please do, yeah. Um, Riza wrote, esoterically, good is the second ray, will first ray. So it comes from the will to good, ray one into ray two. Radiating will to good is ray three. In addition to that, also she wrote, will to good equals to goodwill in humanity, equals the peace, harmony, love, wisdom that humanity seeks. How is a terrific equation? Some very good thoughts there, yes. 
Um, meanwhile, there is a one hand raise, so I will invite uh, Frida and I will use this opportunity actually to introduce uh, our uh, triangle that we've been working together to organize this webinars and Frida is one in these triangles and Alex Radcliffe also in this triangle. So welcome Frida and Alex. Hello. Hello. Please join Hello. our presentation and share Hello. your thoughts. Well, thank you, uh, Dominic, for a lovely meditation. Um, I, um, yeah. My comments are very similar to what we were just discussing, is that uh, I was going to say that uh, goodwill is kind of an active expression of, of love or we might think of it in today's world, this idea of loving kindness, um, so that we're, um, it has to have some kind of activity aspect to it. So maybe that's the third grade that uh, we just heard about, um, that it has to have some kind of expression, I think, to become realized. So those are my thoughts. Sounds good. Um, obviously, I've been, <clears throat> I've been doing a bit of, um, combing through the the Tibetan's thoughts on on goodwill and I was quite surprised actually because I came across um, a very significant uh, uh, definition uh, and not uh, it's in Ray's initiations uh, he says in the word goodwill the secret purpose of the planetary logos is hidden so that makes it <laughs> sounding incredibly mysterious and potent but he also does as uh, as Riza has uh, already pointed out and as you have pointed out Frida he also um, he does connect the goodwill with the will to good um, he says uh, God is love goodwill the will to good these three phrases in reality concern the three aspects of the first ray and um, he also um, gives a very somewhat technical definition of it which actually is very much in line with what uh, Riza said as well he says that um, the focused expression of human goodwill is the lowest aspect of the secondary of love wisdom. In other words, if you like the activity, the active intelligence aspect of love wisdom implemented and strengthened by the second aspect of the first ray of will. So, you know, it's, it's, you've got all of, you've got everything there, first, second and third. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> everything is there. And as you as you said, Frida, it has to work out in some way. It has to be, has to have some practical grounding. It has to end up on the physical plane in some way. In the ethos, perhaps not necessarily dense physical. Um, did you want to read out any more um, comments, Sasha? Or, or... I would rather someone to say that, so I will unmute Christine, who just raised her hand. Okay. Uh, Christine, please unmute yourself. Um, so, Christine, whenever you're ready to unmute. Yes. Okay. Okay. I hit the button, but it didn't open. Thank you. Uh, that's actually where I'd like to take this uh, as part of active intelligence and acting in everyday life uh not just because it's the season but coming up to this season i have seen a divided <laughs> a divided consciousness on just about every level every public election has been as close as 0.5 difference. So from my way of getting through it, I have to try and be okay with those who disagree with me. And because it is a giving season, I would like to be actually pleasantly 
kind in my interaction to those who give service to me. It's, it's a difficult situation that from other teachers now that I have are telling us that there is a separation of worlds. And it's going to be difficult for all of us to work through to our goal because of it. Your thoughts, thank you. Well, <clears throat> indeed, the, uh, I, I agree that there is um, uh, uh, sorry, Christine, can you please mute yourself? There is an echo coming from you. Hello? Yes, I, I, I'm just ag agreeing with you, Christine, that I believe that there is, um, there is certainly a very strong sense of cleavage in, on many levels and in many different places at the moment. And seeing how to get through those cleavages, seeing how to bridge those cleavages is difficult and uh, finding ways to do so and i think we have to rest back on on this on the 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 assurance that the energy of goodwill is the energy for bridging cleavages it is the 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 technique that we have the the most potent technique that we have for um Bridging cleavages. Um, in fact, I'm just going to read another short passage from um, this is again from <clears throat> the Raise Initiative, Raise and the Initiations, where, where the Tibetan says that goodwill is contagious. Once a definite start has been made in a pure and disinterested spirit, goodwill will permeate the world and right human relations will be rapidly established. The healing of cleavages is a practical matter. The spirit of synthesis, working through the, the great first ray avatar, the avatar of synthesis, is closer to the earth than ever before, and the clarity which will emerge in the light of his presence is already available. So that's a very reassuring, I hope, perspective on that. It's also a very elevated perspective. It's not perhaps one we can share automatically with <laughs> people we encounter in everyday life, but we can share the energy that, that, that through that, that it embodies. Um, so is there anyone else who wants to say anything before we move yes, on a little? There, yeah, there are a couple more raised hands, actually three more hands. Oh. Uh, Katya, okay. you are muted. Please unmute yourself. Yes. Um, hello. Hello. Oh, hi, Katya. Hi, Dominic. Um, it's um, Katya Kaufman. Yes. Hello. It's Katya. it's uh, yes, and uh, it's interesting to me because as you were talking, all, all of you, just it comes to me that goodwill. It is not true. I mean, it is the elevation from just action to the way of living, truly. It's just how we are capable, we, we can live like that. I mean, we might find that mechanically or automatically it's not moving along because there are a lot of um, old habits or thought forms or basically glamour <laughs> plays a huge role in that but mm -hmm. if we disregard or as as we transform those into something else which is of the next level then uh, there comes realization that goodwill is the that bottom level of living that at least esoteric or spiritually inclined or developed or working people and then after them the rest uh, the rest will follow um need to assume as a, as a bottom level of, of of relating to one another um 
it's kind of a standard, not a standard, but it's a living presence that is required for us to actually feel alive and loving. You know, and then comes the will to good, which makes this quality un unwithering. <laughs> it's like that just comes through and even if you would want to wither, but you truly can't because nothing in you supports that. But uh, at the, at, like that is a much higher level that I think we are coming up on. And, um, but that uh, will, goodwill and right human, and therefore right human relationship is so attached one to another that without goodwill, we, we, it's, it's even useless to try to attain that right human relationship. And um, one thing, and another thing was, was something interesting that came through. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I got, I got into too many words, <laughs> and and I lost it. But the thing is that we we are that, and as soon as like we start identifying with that, it it will come as a as as a as our living support. That's not my impression. That love, which is a well, we're standing in the flow of the divine love, it's all around us. That's the universe that is designed through that. And uh, when we identify with that, we kind of step out of that thirst <laughs> into the bliss of that energy. It's like very poetic. And um, I remember the, about the cleavages. Um, there's a such moment in the development which is called polarization. And I think that we are, humanity is, as, a, as a disciple is coming through that point. Because those polarities, they represent those extremes. And therefore, there is a real need for reconciliation of that. And that uh, reconciliation or um, unity lies on the next level, which we need to reach in order to solve that. But that is, I believe, a good sign. I mean, it's painful to live through that, but it is a good sign. Because before it was very kind of everybody wanted the same and everybody wanted like followed the same and uh, who, whoever was louder or brighter, that was the the, the the thought form or the per, like the person to follow, but now it is clearly polarizing, and uh, therefore the next thing is going to be the moving upward toward the level where those polarities are one. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you happy. very much. <laughs> well, I, I think what you're that the idea of polarization, and I think that that relates back to what uh, talking about the energy of synthesis and the avatar of synthesis. That we are, if we can connect to that energy, then polarization polarization becomes unity and universality. So, but I don't I don't want to get too technical in, in the discussion because um, the talking about synthesis and the will to good as we know they're, they're fairly high and elevated concepts and what Walker Will seeks to do is to bring those wonderful high spiritual principles down into um, our everyday situations and, and, and into the, the, the various different fields where humanity are struggling. Uh, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do now, I think if it's okay, Sasha, I'm going to move a little bit on now. Um, just yes, I think. Click through a few of these definitions that um, I have hidden hidden cunningly on the screen. Uh, oh, it's not working. Of course it's not working because it's technical. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Love and action. Well, that's an easy one because, of course, that's part of Walker Will's logo. And it connects, as we said, with um, the second and the third aspects. The oxygen of universality, which is one I like, um, 
which relates also to another one, an atmosphere and an attitude, which I think is a very beautiful one, because it taught its atmosphere is all pervasive and an attitude is directed. So it's both at the same time. So it's um, an energy that can be used both pervasively and in directed action. And then there's the active principle of peace. Um, of course, peace in this sense is not passive. It's a, an active dynamic synthesis of polarities. And finally, the heartbeat of service, which leads us neatly on to the next slide, <laughs> which is, I just want us to, just to reflect just for a minute again on maybe what our favorite definitions of service might be and how we think about service and what that means and how, how we see it connecting with our own networks and methods and techniques of serving. So just for a minute, let's reflect quietly on that. Does anyone have anything they would like to share on the topic of service? Henry says, service is the spontaneous life lived as the relationship of divine purpose to its expression. Indeed. Spontaneity, a soul instinct. That's one of the, the definitions, I think, um, which comes from the law of service. It's, it's about the, the spontaneous outflow from the soul level. And a He's good. A Sorry, go ahead. No, go on, go on. Uh, there's another comment coming from Risa. There are steps. We've been learning as a servant. Then we learn about service. Then we become a servant. Indeed. I think perhaps that's one of the, the places where we struggle the most at that early stage when we we haven't got the notion of um, being a servant out of our heads if you if you know what i mean um because um it's, it's where we where the personality struggles with letting go of its of its own projects and um its own perspective on what's best. And that's, that is a definitely a quite a fiery part of the struggle of the path, I think, that we have to learn to let go of that and learn to step into the more group conscious approach to what service can be and is when we, be, when we begin to work as souls. There is another sharing from Janet, and um, Janet wanted to talk before. If you would like to share what you wrote in the chat, please raise your hand and I will unmute you.
Janet wrote, service is not an activity. It is the silent radiance of the soul. Indeed, silence. Michael writes selflessness in thought, word and deed. Mm -hmm. One of the things that, um, again, is an interesting part of the work of World Goodwill is seeing how these um, high elevated concepts and energies, precipitation of divine energies, which I think Darcy Sessions has just written, how they work out, how they um, manifest in everyday life. So I'm going to just move a little bit along now to some of the ways in which Wagga Will functions, if you like. Now, I guess that quite a few of you are familiar with um, our seminar. And as you probably know, we have it in three different centers and we have a variety of different speakers from all sorts of different places. And um, since I've been working at Wagga Will, which for now, I mean, it's, it's amazing that it's actually been 20 years now I've been working in World Goodwill. There has been a kind of gradual change in the way that we conceive of the seminar. Because um, in, around about the turn of the century, the, the 2000s, you know, the internet wasn't really a thing so much. It was just sort of starting up and there was still a sense in which um, the, World, the World Goodwill Seminar was about more of giving a platform to all kinds of different service activities, all kinds of different um, projects and different fields and religion, business, um, politics, education. Not so much politics. Politics is always a very hard one to work with. Um, for various reasons, you know, the first three is always rather tricky. But that was sort of the way in which we worked with, um, or how we saw the seminar as being a kind of a platform, a, a place where many different groups and uh, initiatives could come and share their um, service, their service initiatives. But as, as the internet has developed and as our kind of, if, if you like, our etheric connectedness has become more and more evident, and as groups and initiatives have developed their own online presences, we've started to move away from that. And now what we're, the way we're trying to work um, in the seminars and World Goodwill is more with the idea of thought form building. We, we, we are ourselves presenting a theme and then finding people and groups who we feel can link in with that theme and that energy and can help construct a thought form so that there is more emphasis upon the meditative um, work of creative meditation that we're doing at the seminar. So if anyone has any questions about that, I'm happy to answer them. Um, but it's, it, is a, it is a definite shift, a definite attempt to think about how we use that possibility, that event in a slightly different way as a more of a, more, a slightly more direct channel, I guess you could say for the energies of goodwill and right human relationships. And as you probably know, it's online as well, so that people can connect with it. And um, as, as we go forward, I dare say that these things will become more and more interconnected. 
So that's one way that World Goodwill works with uh, the energies of goodwill and service and servers. And we connect with these different servers around the world and the different centers. And, and, and uh, another obvious way that we do that is um, with some of our literature. Now, again, I, I'm guessing that many of you will be familiar with uh, some of these items that are displayed on the screen. And our newsletter. Um, now, I don't know whether you noticed, but we actually recently changed the title of it. Um, and again, you could say that this is a, a slight shift towards a more open reflection on what the purpose of, of the, the newsletter is, is, is to dwell upon how does goodwill express itself in world affairs? How does it work out in international events and international initiatives? So, as you're probably aware that we, we do place a fair amount of emphasis in the newsletter and in other publications on the work of the United Nations. And um, again, that's something that um, the Tibetan talks about, the importance of the United Nations, as you know. So does anyone have any thoughts they'd like to share on what I've said so far about how Wagga Will is working with these energies and how it's working to present them and to distribute those energies, if you like. Otherwise, I'm happy to continue to move on and as well as the newsletter we do have the commentaries which are again we're going slightly more in depth into a specific theme or idea Karen asks can we sign up on your website to receive the newsletter absolutely you can yes indeed you can please feel free to do so um, Sasha, you wanted to say something? Uh, yeah, I will just put the uh, website's URL on the uh, chat box. Thank you. And also, um, another of the services that we offer <clears throat> is we have a range of literature in which We are, are trying to focus now on a kind of core set of ideas which are particularly relevant, we feel, for World Goodwill from, from the, the writings of the Tibetan. And the, the one that I've displayed on there, the new group of world servers, obviously relevant to the festival week, um, has just recently been uh, quite thoroughly revised and updated. Um, so that's another way in which we try, we're trying to find ways to present the ideas of the Tibetan in ways that are, I suppose you could say digestible, um, a little bit, um, a little bit more accessible than, you know, going straight to the books, but uh, it's, it's a bridge, if you like into those those deeper concepts. Uh, Dominic, I have a question. Actually. Yes, please. Uh, how does the group see the current state of actually goodwill in the world affairs? Because from the perspective of uh, people follow trying to follow all the news around the world there is very little space for goodwill in the world affairs and especially in world politics uh, the last 
seven years has been pretty harsh right for the world affairs and uh, very difficult to notice that. So what is your perspective on that? You always ask the easy questions, Sasha. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I have been thinking a little bit, a little bit, a lot about it actually um, lately, and um, I think as uh, Akacha also mentioned, we're, we're we're living in times where the where this polarization. Um, and this intensification of difference, whether real or imagined, has become very obvious. It's become, it's, um, and it, it does tend to drown out, uh, or it seems it can drown out or, or mask the underlying goodwill that's there. But I do think that goodwill is there. and, and it's actually taken me quite a long time to realize just how important the work of the United Nations is. Um, and I think, you know, that the United Nations has changed over the last 10, 20 years. It's become, it has become more aware of how important it is to reach out to everyone, you know, rather than just talk to governments. Um, and I think that's one possible antidote that one can use uh, if one is getting a little bit depressed by the the drumbeat, if you like, of polarization and argument and fake news, is to make sure that one also stays plugged into uh, the messages that are coming from the United Nations in its many different forms, uh, many different uh, specialized agencies and so on. So that's one way that I find that it's, it's useful to, it's important to stay connected to that and to recognize that there are people of, of outstanding integrity and with a deep, deeply spiritual, they may not think of it in that way, but with a deeply spiritual grasp of world affairs who are, who are working to, for example, try to implement the sustainable development goals. So that, 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 that's one very short answer to that question. And I, what I was going to do, I think, with the next slide is, there you go, well, go well at the UN, almost as if it was, <laughs> um, is to, to say that um, that's one thing that we do, we are slowly again trying to um, more consciously integrate our thinking with how the, the goodwill and the United Nations relate to one another. Now let me just, I'm going to pop through two slides that go to the cycle of conferences. Um, and I don't know how many one <clears throat> um, how many people are aware of the cycle of conferences, which is a special meditation initiative that we use, which does work a little bit more consciously with the will um, and focusing upon the different uh, major events are taking place around the world, often the United Nations ones, but not always. Um, and this is just an example of the most recent one that we did, where there were, there were actually six summits focusing around themes around the Sustainable Development Summits. And uh, um, as I say, it does work a little bit more abstractly, more esoterically with the will it's not attempting to impose the will, though that's a very important aspect of it. It's not in any sense attempting to impose will, but it's attempting to use the will to nurture and foster thought form building, positive thought form building. So does that help answer your question, Sasha? I don't know. <laughs> 
I, I think it's more as a the call for reflection for our collective reflection because yes, it's it's a we all know about how difficult situation and we probably see through to some extent to the reasons for that. But I think mm -hmm. it's very important to hold that beacon of goodwill and see it through. And what you just said about the UN, I absolutely agree with you that it's that very powerful magnet that's been anchored 70 plus years ago, it still holds so many nations <clears throat> together and doesn't allow them to fall through uh, this selfish separatism as it happened in the studies with the fall of the League of the Nations. The, the ideals of the United Nations are still a powerful magnet and the reason that like, we're not in complete chaos, it's I think exactly for that reason that the, the UN as a beacon of goodwill does own role, plays own role as it, it was intended. Mm. I see there's a couple of hands actually. I think, uh... So let's unmute. Uh, Janet wanted to talk for a while, so I'll unmute Janet first. Janet, please unmute yourself. And is that it? Oh, am I yes, unmuted now? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can hear um, you. Yes. Yes. Uh, world affairs um, and the overwhelm of um, the current very dynamic and rapidly changing situations. I think it calls for us to be realistic, practical optimists, all of us, um, because as you've just been saying about the United Nations, goodwill is magnetic and we can therefore become a magnetic seed and we individually and together as a worldwide group can bring about the best in and around the environment and situations that we work in because the goodwill fosters and potentiates the field that we are active in, um, in such a way that we start to come alive to the soul in us, and that resonates and bring alive, brings to life the soul in the other and the situation. So it fosters kindness and a willingness to understand, and cooperation comes into play. So. Being um, an agent of goodwill, an undercover agent, if you like, a secret radioactive particle of goodwill, we begin to stimulate a group consciousness and polarization may be active, but the group consciousness that we stimulate creates an ability for the other to become creatively aware and choose to come to a different point of understanding. Might take a little while, but there's always that possibility when goodwill is active in the field. So I urge all of us to become undercover agents of this magnetic seed so that we don't get tarnished by this um, negativity that is around all of us at the moment. So that's that's where I am with goodwill and uh, how to be out there doing the best that I and we can together. Sorry. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Janet. <clears throat> Pasha? <clears throat> yes, Alex. Yeah, can I say can I say something? Please. Um, thank you, Janet. I saw your comment there about goodwill being the best intention in the world. And, and as usual, you give a beautiful practical example. Um, Dominic, uh, you might be interested in um, one of my favorite quotes uh, by Marianne Williamson, who, yeah. as you know, is running for uh, president and is a great spiritual voice in the world now. And she keeps saying over and over again, that she believes that there's more lovers 
than haters in the world. But the problem is that those who hate, hate with conviction. And the lovers need to love with conviction. And um, thinking about that, we are all mini United Nations. First of all, we have to unite all of our parts and get them within ourselves to stop warring with each other. And then we have our families and our groups and our workplaces. So we're all walking mini United Nations. And when you look at it that way, you really can have a heart for what they are dealing with in the United Nations on a very large scale. So the microcosm and the macrocosm are the same. And um, which also brings me to the next point that this is the season of goodwill. And uh, as Janet was just referring to, this is our opportunity. If well, it's always an opportunity. Goodwill begins with me. And hopefully um, that energy spreads. So uh, when we go out into the world or, or shopping tomorrow, Christmas shopping, are we feeling the energy of goodwill? And how often do we feel the energy of goodwill now or tomorrow or later? And we hear the music playing, but do we feel that energy? And what if we're not feeling that energy what are we feeling and what is preventing that energy because that energy is in fact natural to the soul it's a natural impulse to the soul to experience goodwill so looking at what is blocking that i think is personally i find the first step to being a um an undercover agent for goodwill. What are those things that are preventing that sense of goodwill? So before people come to the table at the United Nations or in conflict resolution or in a family resolution or in any situation, they have to have a will, first of all, just to sit down even together. But then there has to be some intent of goodwill for that to carry forward. So how do you break down the bad will? And, and uh, the last thing I'm going to say, my, my experience as I move through the world is that um, one of the barriers to a sense of goodwill is the sense of separation, that we are separate beings, that we are stressed and that we have this to do. And therefore, we don't even recognize the other. So first, we have to wake up. And when we see the person in front of us, we actually see a person and actually greet them, then we get a little inkling that we're not separate. And seeing and recognizing just a little bit of yourself in another person, that commonality, then that gives birth to this sense of goodwill. So I've experienced both of those recently. This, you know, moving about in the world, this intense ill will and this intense goodwill, which is basically a breaking down of the barriers, a recognizing of something of the other in myself and the love arises and that's kind of the conviction the love and practice. So thank you. And uh, can I just say that we're having on the 28th a, a, a culmination, I think Sasha will tell everyone, of this uh, bringing these three nations together. And, 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 and Sasha, I'm sure you don't mind me saying that we're going to be discussing rising, rising above agreement, sorry, rising above disagreement to agreement and I think all of this is going to be tied in. How do we um, come together in goodwill? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I think um, just from the pure point of view of practical, as you say, moving about in the world and, and uh, 
connecting with other people. The it's almost a spiritual practice, I find. Well, it is a spiritual practice. It should be, I guess, not to be absorbed in one's phone or one's headphones, particularly if you're somewhere <clears throat> like um, the Tube in London. Um, just looking around, connecting with people, not necessarily, you know. Just being in their presence and recognizing them for who they are, as you say, it's 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 a surprisingly deep can be a surprisingly deep spiritual practice. Um, exactly. Thank you. Very true. And I think the recognition of the presence of the goodwill mm -hmm. is also a spiritual practice. It's like it's at some point I think we just stop noticing it as a, that oxygen that, uh, that the definition that you gave one of the definitions of the goodwill. Yeah, we don't notice oxygen when we breathe it, but it's there, and we know immediately when something's wrong with the air that it's something like it's not there. So it's the same mm -hmm. about goodwill. Absolutely. If you travel to some troubled countries where there is not enough of that oxygen of the goodwill. Mm -hmm. You will know immediately. So, a, a recognizing the presence and appreciating the presence of the goodwill—it's—it's—it's it's, it's a practice for all of us. And Sasha, I was wrong. I think it's the twenty-third. You're going to have that panel discussion. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it's—it's yeah. it's going to be on the twenty-third. We're going to have the final discussion, where representatives of all six groups will come together, and we will ask them to weave their vision of this new civilization uh, into a synthetic vision that uh, we could all use the energy of the festival week to meditate on manifestation of that vision. But yeah, thank you for bringing that now, Alex. And I think we're getting close to the end of the webinar. And so Dominic, I just want uh, you to share any final thoughts uh, that you have uh, for the group. I just want to thank everyone because it's been very stimulating. There's there's lots of I mean, there's been a number of comments I've seen in the in the in the question box which we haven't even had time to go to, and they're they're all quite deep and, and significant comments. So it's unfortunate we can only have this length of time together, but I think it's been um, very beautiful sharing. Thank you for everyone who's. Uh, Shared and everyone who's everyone here who's connecting with this these, this thought form, and I just want to invite everybody who isn't in any way connected with Walga Will to just connect with us and you know uh, whatever way you th seems appropriate. And I'm just going to flick through to the at the end because I, I wanted to um obviously you know you, you probably know about the goodwill meditation group webinar we're doing and the problems of humanity we didn't even get onto that and that's another whole other focus of of study um and and the work that world goodwill does liaising with different service groups around the world um both subjective service groups meditation groups and as as i was talking about earlier also objective if you like the the more outer groups and that's something that what else that Walga world does it connects with them and in various ways and i just like to end if i may um if we can say together the mantra of the new group of world servers to once again lead us back to reflection upon that mighty group all around the world where, who are connecting with the will to good and with goodwill and who are serving the planet and seeking to elevate it and who are going to be, as we know, and as we, as we can already feel, I'm sure, be st stimulated by the energies of the festival week. May the power of the one life 
pour through the group of all true servers. May the love of the one soul characterize the lives of all who seek to aid the great ones. May we fulfill our part in the one work through self-forgetfulness, harmlessness, and right speech. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic, and big thanks to your group who holds this space and focus on the goodwill for so many years and decades. We credit you. Thank you. And as um, Alex and I mentioned the, the synthesizing webinar in this series will be on December 23rd. So please come uh, join us uh, at 7 p.m. GMT. And also, uh, Dominic, did you want to say something? No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, I want to invite you to our coming uh, webinar uh, on the Sagittarius Solar Festival uh, webinar. We will use the energy of Sagittarius to come in together in one group to set up our goals for the festival week. And um, at this webinar, full moon webinar, we'll have uh, the circle of the festival week preparation initiative coming forward to share the ideas, the suggestions, uh, and plans for the festival week, how we could all work together as one united group. So please join us on December 12th for this webinar. It's in two days. And um, normally I use this opportunity to talk about our next new moon webinar and you've seen in a screen, but instead I would rather jump into the next slide, which would, to share the schedule for all the webinars that 2025 initiative organizes during the festival week. It's in a way this festival week is an extended time of the new moon period. So this is our new moon offering uh, this time. And uh, we will have daily uh, meditations, uh, short silent meditations at noon of GMT. Uh, so please join us for that every day. And then also every day evening GMT, we will have we webinars with different groups, uh, focused by different groups, uh, sometimes by several groups at once. So I'm not gonna read this slide through, you can see it, but uh, just wanna highlight this December 23rd uh, webinar that I just talked about. Then um, also there's, on December 24th, there will be intergroup uh, Christmas meditative ritual organized by the uh, Moria Federation, Live Bridge Sanctuary Circle, Hekal Group and 2025 Initiative. So please come join us for that. And on December 28th, we'll have the uh, New Moon webinar, continuing our work with the cycle of the New Moons focusing on sustainable development goals. And this time we'll talk about goal 17, partnerships for the goals. And uh, besides this, I want to uh, highlight two important one webinars, which will be global webinars organized by the Festival Week Preparation Circle on December 21st 
at 8.30 p.m. we'll have a solstice silent circle gathering to meditate together around the time of the global silent minute at 9 p.m. Together we will create a silent circle, receptive circle for all people of goodwill who will be meditating at that one minute of silence. On December 28th, there will be the final global silent meditation where different groups will come together to meditate in silence and project the intention of the work of manifesting the plan for the next seven years. And you can learn about this webinars and many other webinars at the bulletin board which uh, you can see the links in the chat window. Um, it's a little bit kind of jammed up message on the chat, uh, but you can get the, the links and here you can see the actual text. And if your group is organizing any event during the festival week, please share about that on the bulletin board uh, through the bulletin board sharing form. That other groups could know about your work and that we could stand together as a united group working through the diverse avenues of activities and meditations. Thank you again and let's keep our silent alignment during this festival week of Sagittarius when the silent focused will will bring us together preparing for our work together during the festival week of group impact. Thank you. So, namaste and let's stay connected.